Dragon Ball Super is over and it had a good climax, but there are still problems with it. While I would like to give my thoughts on how I would rewrite it, I believe its problems started in DBZ. I personally believe that DBZ should have ended after Gohan defeated Cell, but that didn't happen. I also have a lot of problems with the Buu Saga, so I will start changing things from after Cell was defeated. Instead of fixing issues in Super, I will create a saga that replaces the Buu Saga in order to make way for better changes in Super and avoid mistakes and flaws. The time skip will be a lot smaller, maybe 2 or 3 years, meaning that Gohan isn't an adult yet. The Z Fighters also didn't completely stop training. Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, and Shao Tzu learn new abilities to keep up with the others and Vegeta has learned Super Saiyan 2. Goku will still be dead, but he learns a new supportive technique from someone, similar to Kaoken and instant transmission. The conflict starts when universes begin to collide. A mastermind hires Hit from Universe 6 to kill the Z Fighters. Meanwhile, Goku's in heaven, getting ready for a tournament. Goku is shown to have Super Saiyan 2, and he's also learning to absorb the spirit bomb. The mastermind sends some fighters to attack the Z Fighters, but Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, and Shatsu take them out. When the boss of a small group shows up, Gohan takes him on. After struggling a little, he uses Super Saiyan 2 and destroys his opponent. Hit shows up and easily defeats Gohan. Vegeta and Piccolo try to take Hit on, but they are also easily defeated. Before Hit can kill them, two of his allies stop him because they want to see the Z Fighters grow stronger. Goku is in his tournament when he shows off his spirit bomb transformation and his new support technique. When he is in the finals, his opponent overpowers both Super Saiyan 2 and the spirit bomb mode. Filled with rage, he goes Super Saiyan 3 and defeats his opponent, winning the tournament. Back on Earth, they realize that someone is collecting the Dragon Balls, so the Z Fighters and Bulma go to the location of the Mastermind's base. Android 18 is still alive and joins the Z Fighters. The Z Fighters team up to fight Hit's two allies, but one by one, they are taken down due to their confusing abilities. Vegeta and 18 are fighting one ally, while Gohan and Piccolo are fighting the other. Bulma tries to help, but she is attacked by the assassins. Enraged, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 3 and starts fighting on par with one of them. Piccolo is injured, so Gohan takes on the second assassin. But when Gohan gets gravely injured, Piccolo unlocks a new Super Namekian transformation and continues fighting. Vegeta and Piccolo are able to defeat their opponents and move on to hit. While they put up more of a challenge than the first time, they are ultimately defeated. Goku then arrives to Earth for 24 hours with the help of fortune teller Baba. Goku mixes Kaioken with his spirit bomb form to battle Hit, but when Hit uses pure progress and gets stronger, Goku is forced to go Super Saiyan 3. Gohan gets back up to help his father in battle. Together, the two are able to overpower Hit's abilities and defeat him. Goku finds the mastermind and engages in combat with him, but he has an ability that allows him to phase through things. The mastermind reveals that he's going to wish for the destruction of Earth as he retreats. Goku's time runs out and he is sent back to heaven. The heroes try to look for the mastermind, but are unable to find him. Meanwhile, Vegeta is going through the same character arc as in the Majin Buu saga. Vegeta is met by the mastermind, who convinces him that he can make him stronger than Goku. Using a mind controlling technique, he powers up Vegeta who starts killing innocent people to attract Goku's attention. At the same time, the mastermind is found. Gohan goes to find the mastermind and Piccolo goes to fight Vegeta. Gohan battles against the mastermind and begins to learn the secrets of his phasing ability. Piccolo is able to fight on equal terms with his Super Namekian form, but not for long. The two fighters show off new techniques, but Piccolo eventually loses. When he is defeated, Goku shows up revealing that Old Kai sacrificed his life for his revival. The two fight in Super Saiyan 3 and Goku tries to talk sense to Vegeta, but he initially won't listen. After Goku convinces him, he knocks the former out along with Piccolo and goes out to fight the mastermind. Gohan is struggling when Vegeta arrives. Vegeta tells Gohan that his father is in trouble and takes on the mastermind when Gohan leaves. After struggling, he remembers his family and self-destructs. Gohan, Goku, and Piccolo witness the explosion and go there. The three meet up there with 18 and Krillin at the site and find Vegeta gone and the mastermind still alive. Hit returns to finish his mission and the final battle begins. Gohan tells Goku about the mastermind's weakness as he goes in to fight. Goku fights the mastermind and the remaining fight Hit. Hit is defeated and Goku mixes Kaioken with Super Saiyan 3 to exploit the mastermind's weakness and finally defeat him. In the end, the Z Fighters use Parunga to bring back everyone who died. This saga makes a path for future sagas and makes a better sense of power scaling than in Z and Super. For the future sagas, characters from other universes will slowly be introduced. The Z Fighters will continue to grow stronger and Yamcha will be redeemed. Android 17 will be wished back to life and help the Z Fighters whenever they are in trouble. 
Goku will gain power-ups by learning to mix Super Saiyan 3, Kaioken, and the Spirit Bomb form all together. Vegeta will master Super Saiyan 3 and Piccolo will gain a second form of his Super Namekian. Goku and Vegeta will also create a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito at one point to defeat an opponent. Things like Super Saiyan God and Gods of Destruction will all come after the universe's top fighters are all able to battle each other. They will then have to battle their own gods who will then teach them how to become stronger. The Zamasu Saga will take place after here. I decided to push back the god events because Super doesn't give the word god any real weight. I believe that gods will be more menacing if they appeared after all the universe's strongest people were fought. Also universe 6 Saiyans won't exist. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. How would you have changed Dragon Ball Super?